Ladies, I gotta start all back over again. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, um, camera malfunctioning today. My thing is this, ladies. Have you done every since you have done everything that I told you and everything is working good for you and everything and you loving every minute of him? Then check this out. If you have done everything that you are supposed to do, right? And you loving him the way you're supposed to love him. And you have nothing else left to give. And you prayed on it and it still didn't work. Then it's something wrong. Haven't you ever heard that sometimes a person is in your life for a season? Not a reason, but for a season. And his time may be up. When you have done everything you thought you can, and he's still acting up, then it may be time for you to let him go. Why wreck your brain and burst your heart out for a person that don't deserve your loving? If he don't deserve it and he's treating you like a roommate more than a woman or a girlfriend or a wife, then it's time for his ass to hit the dough. You remember that. You don't have to take anything that you don't want. You feel me? I've seen so many young ladies with their hearts hurt. Oh, yes, Mama Roxy's been there a couple of times, too. I've been there where I've stayed by his ass and everything that he wanted to do. Everything. But then his ass turned around and did what he wanted to do and left your ass on the sidelines. You got to remember, you are a person, too. You have to think about you sometimes as well. That's why I told you, and I'm going to tell you once again. If you didn't try everything you thought you could to keep his ass at home and he still ain't at home, and he's not coming home, then that means there's something wrong. It's time for you to let him go. Or if he's putting them hands on you, it's most definitely time for you to let him go. Or you're not getting no sex in the bedroom, then that means that sex is coming and going to someplace else. That means you're not that important. My mother used to tell me that if a man can't spend the weekends with you and he can only see you during the weekdays, that's because he got a woman. If he ain't working, he got a woman. That means that woman is more important than you are. And who's more important than me besides God himself and his children? Nobody. Maybe his mama. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? You got to understand that. Stop putting yourself second. You are number one, baby. God come first. There's the his children, and then there's you. No one come before the kids. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? You have to realize that you are important. You are important. You mean the world to you, so why should you mean the world to somebody else? Like I'm trying to tell you, and I'm going to tell you, young and old, we all be silly sometimes. Even I've been silly. It took me a while to learn, so I'm here to teach y'all. If he does not treat you the way you're supposed to be treated, and you called him on him, and you told him about it, then it's time to let him go. If he's spending most time out there in them streets, and he is with you, it's time for you to let him go. If you are not happy, and you're doing more crying than you are being happy, it's time for you to let him go. Honey... I'm trying to tell you, you have to enjoy life. Life is worth enjoying, baby, young or old. Life is, hey, nobody is promised tomorrow. And with you sitting here and you crying and whining, and that makes your head hurt. That makes your body hurt, your heart hurt, everything hurting. When you are not happy, that leads to stress. And stress leads to death. Honey, I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. I told you how to get it right in the bedroom. And I'm telling you how to get it right in life. No one is more important than your happiness. No one is more important than you feeling happy here. And ain't nothing wrong, Lord and Savior, with having a peace of man. If you don't have no peace of man and you got chaos, baby, chaos is a killer. I'm trying to tell you, chaos is a killer. 
So you, if you're happy and he makes you happy and he's doing everything that he thinks he can for you and you're doing the same thing, then by all means necessary, go go 109. Go 109. Do 110 if you got to, to keep him where you want to keep him at. But I promise you, if you only doing the work and you are not saying anything and you are not satisfied in no way, then he's not worth having. May that be a he or a she. That goes for a woman too. Because women could be just as disrespectful and just as dirty as men can be. And we all know that because we're women. Honey, yes we are. I'm here to tell you the low down dirty truth, baby. Yes, we can be. And that's the same thing that goes for a woman. If that woman don't have your back, if she is not in there doing what a woman is supposed to do unless she's going to work every day and she's taking care of the children, then there's a problem. Then you got to figure out what that problem is. I don't mean put your hands on her. That don't mean that. What that means is to figure out what's going on. Where is our life going? Do you really love me? Do you care enough to be by my side? Then if you do, then let's do something about it. Hell, come on, watch Mama Roxy says. Ask me questions. And come, let's figure this out. Remember, it's about you guys. It's about your hearts, your minds, and your soul. I got you. But remember... It's also about your wallets, your pocketbooks, and your purses. And don't forget your hearts. <laughs> I'm not going to get too deep in this with you and let you think that Mama Roxy, but she was just, I'm, I'm here to tell you the good and the bad. I started out with the good, and now I'm giving you the bad. But I'm also telling you something for your own good. You have to be happy. You also got to be ready for everything. This world brings so many issues, baby. You got to be ready. We are strong, hell. We deliver babies. We raise families. Families. We take care of everything. And our man is right by our side. If that's what is is if that's what he truly is, our man. I don't believe in being that uh second woman that um woman on the sidelines, what they call her, a part-time chick. Ain't nothing part-time about me. All my all my parts are with me. Honey, where they get that from? Where they do that at, you young girls? Honey, ain't nothing part-time about me. I'm real. And I'm, I'm telling y'all, keep it real. Don't be part-time for nobody. Don't let nobody play you. Don't let nobody misuse you. Don't let nobody treat you bad. It's all on how you feel and what you think you deserve. Don't you think you deserve the best? I don't care how many kids you got. I don't care how big you are. Girl, I don't care how little you are. I don't care how old you are. Uh-uh. We deserve the best. Mama Roxy had to stand up. We deserve the best, ladies. And I'm here to tell you, I've been knowing this for a long time. Yes, we have men, we go for the bad boys. Even they some bad boys sometimes. Even the bad boys know how to love good and love you right. They've been taught that. They know that. Hell, even the good boys mess up sometimes and act like fools. It don't matter. Some people say, well, maybe he's too young or he's too old. It don't matter. Sometimes I found some young ones that act better than the old ones. How many of you know that? Hmm. Ladies, ladies, ladies. It's all about being happy. Do you want to be happy? You want to have a peace of mind, baby? Life is so much better. God knows it is when you have a peace of mind. But when you're worrying about your man... If he loves me, if he want to be with me, if he's cheating on me, and you got to check his wallet, his phone, his car, his drawers, his everything to see if he got this. That ass ain't worth that much. Ain't nobody worth that much. Getting you to the point where you want to bust his head. 
break the, bless his car window, sell task car. Heard.